A party stipulates or agrees that he and other plaintiffs will demand damages under the required amount in controversy. If the damages fall below the threshold, a federal court can't exercise subject matter jurisdiction over the case. Can a party stipulation defeat federal subject matter jurisdiction? Find out in Standard Fire Insurance versus Knowles. Greg Knowles had a homeowner's insurance policy through Standard Fire. After suffering a loss, Knowles claimed that Standard Fire breached the policy by failing to fully reimburse him. Seeking to represent hundreds of similarly harmed policyholders, Knowles brought a class action claim against Standard Fire in Arkansas State Court. Knowles stipulated in the complaint that he and the class of plaintiffs would seek damages under $5 million. Standard Fire removed the case to federal district court on the theory that the Class Action Fairness Act, or CAFA, authorized jurisdiction. CAFA provides federal courts with jurisdiction to hear a class action if the class contains more than 100 members, the parties are minimally diverse, and the amount in controversy exceeds $5 million. In this case, the sticking point for jurisdiction was the amount in controversy. The district court, doing its own math, found that class-wide, the policyholders' claims would exceed $5 million. But the district court concluded that jurisdiction didn't hinge on its factual findings, but rather on Knowles' stipulation. Because Knowles stipulated that the damages sought would fall short of $5 million, the district court remanded the action back to state court. The Eighth Circuit declined to review the order. The Supreme Court granted cert.